Hello friends, this time I brought items, we're not gonna get our asses handed to us this time. I mean look, I got two queen's dinners, two milkshakes, I got a butt ton of cherry bombs, sweet pudding. There's no way that I'm unprepared for this fight, for sure. Alright. Oh! Oh! No. <laughs> I didn't live. I didn't live at all. I did the opposite of living. That's why, that's why you never let your enemies live. Because if you let your enemies live, they absolutely fucking body you. Jesus, that was horrible. And I'm not, oh damn it, now I'm not gonna get the paralysis either. That was just like a one, one time sort of deal. And I completely just whiffed it entirely. Um, oh, it's fine. Let's hit her directly. Maybe? Is she on fire? I hit her with something. Oh, I think it was just a basic damage. That's that's unfortunate. Um, yeah, I... Fuck, I have to do this. I don't want to do it, but... He'll die if I don't. Alright, alright. What's she gonna do? Don't you fucking do it. Okay. I thought she was gonna do a big boy one. Don't underestimate musicians. You know, I went to a college that had a big music program in it. And let me tell you, the musician- oh fuck me, this is not good. The musicians there were some of just- they were just such dickheads. They were such rude boys all the time. Oh god. I looked away. I should have paid attention. I'm gonna get bodied a second time, aren't I? Um... Okay, so you know what I'm gonna do here? I'm actually- I'm just gonna throw another one of these and hope for the best. <sighs> oh, that was the best. That was actually the best. Okay. Alright. Life's not so bad. Okay, she she died. That's fine. That's fine. That's like that's completely doable. Um Okay. Uh Well, what's the point in having the the milkshake if I didn't, you know, if I don't use the milkshake? But I get you know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. I'm going all in on that strat. Stun him. Stun him. Stun him. Ah. Oh. I'm gonna get killed again, aren't I? Yeah, I definitely am. Whew. Whew. Yeah, that's it. I would have survived that. Oh my god, I somehow survived that. Okay. Alright. Life's not so bad. <laughs> um. Holy shit, what do I do? <laughs> oh my god, what do I do? Um, taunt, I guess? Sure. Uh, uh, I don't think I've ever fumbled a boss fight as hard as I'm fumbling this boss fight right now. If I somehow win, if I somehow win this fight, I'll be absolutely surprised if I can win. I really do not think that's gonna happen, but you know, ne you never know. You genuinely never know. Um, let's give this to you. And that didn't fucking kill you, are you serious? Fuck you. <laughs> as long as one of them lives. One of them has to live, that's it. Oh my god, what do I do? <laughs> Fuck. What do I do? Uh... Sh sure. Sure. I'll use all my fucking items on this fight. I'll do it. I will go balls deep on all these items. Taunt. I'm not happy about it, but, you know, here's, here's the thing. I have so many berries in the bank just 
from interest, I can literally just buy all these items again. So I really don't, I don't feel that bad. Now that I think about it, using items only feels bad if you're poor, and uh, and I'm and I'm stinking rich. Yes, fuck you. I did it. <laughs> I did it. Money has once again proven that you can do anything. If you just have a fat enough wallet, you can do it. There you go. Get out of my sight. Get out of my fucking sight. Ugh. Oh. You know, I probably could have won that on the first time had I just, you know, not completely ate ass and died in one attack. That's the thing. That's the thing with this hard mode thing. Because none of the characters have any health because you can't level up any health, you're just stuck. And if an enemy hits you with one of those big fat moves, even if you block it, even if you block it, you're usually in a position to die. It's almost a guarantee every time. There will be, will be no problem. I'm so prepared. There's no way I can lose. Funny stuff, Tony. Where'd you learn such a comedian? Clown school? Uh, I went to Jester College. Actually, clowns clowns are a little passe. I'm more of a jester boy myself. Oh, hello. All right, let's let's see. Let's go talk to the king and queen again and see what they have to say. Oh my god, it goes so fast. Oh, what is the sprint affected by the uh, by the conveyor belt? No, it looks like the sprint is actually just completely unaffected. And what is this man doing back here? Ooh. What are you doing? I don't- he's stuck. I'm just gonna like, leave him be. Listen, we beat the boss fight. The fact that it took absolutely disgusting amounts of capitalism and items, that's, you know, that has no bearing on it. At the end of the day, we won, you know? And history is written by the victors. And in my- in my stream, I win. <laughs> Every time. That's how it is. Hello, Team Snake Mouth. Now it's Team Pibu, my guy. Oh look, he's so happy. Oh, I say that and then he just he grumbles. That's sad. <laughs> uh, he's such a little baby. I love that he's so happy, like the model for Tangier and makes him super happy, but he's just genuinely upset. I can't get over the fact that she's not a Tangier and it's so distracting. All right. If I recall, from here we just head straight over to the pier. Oh, hello. A new thing to, to look at. Actually, I think I can look at this too. No? Oh, I guess I can't. That's fine. Last time I was here, did I remember to grab this? I did not. That is good to know. And nothing back there, not even the back of her chair. I love that the chair has a hole in it to fit her fat ass. That's such a nice detail. I play Elder Scrolls Online almost every day, uh, you know, during my lunch break, because I work from home now with, uh, with COVID. And every time my Argonian sits down, his tail just goes flat through the, flat through the, um, ooh, the quest board, there's new quests, to the chairs, and it always kind of frustrates me. Like, they couldn't animate it so that, you know, maybe I could, I could have my tail go through, like, a hole in the chair or something, it, it, you know? All right, we're gonna just, we're gonna take all these. It's kind of annoying. I can't just talk to this guy to get all of them, but that's fine. I think the stuck Tangerin is part of a quest. Now he he's probably part of something. Anytime an NPC in this game is doing something weird, they're definitely part of a quest. Let's see. If I remember, I need to come all the way over here, and then we're all set to go, right? Yeah, there it is. You've arrived. Behold, the submarine. I'm actually super hyped to use the submarine. All right, let's see. Where do I need to? Are you just gonna let me have it? Yep, we just we just have it. Cool. Nothing else. All right, dope. And then we can. Okay, you don't how you you don't hold B. You just tap it to go under. Yes, here it is. All the way over here. We need to drop Elizant at the out- oh, fuck. I forgot I have to go to the pier first. I'm jumping the gun. I love the sound that the submarine makes, because I'm pretty sure it's just someone making the sound with their mouth. <laughs> there we go. 
get rid of the skirts. There we go, everything is good. Please just let me go back. Ooh, 100 berries. A pittance, really. Let me go back in my submarine, thank you. I heard that there's another Paper Mario-esque game. Someone actually sent it to me in a DM on Discord. I don't remember who it was. I don't remember what the game was. All I know is that it looked pretty dope. I think it might have been an open world Paper Mario S game, which is which is pretty crazy to think about. If you guys know what the name of the game is, uh, feel free to, to put it in the chat. I wish I could. Oh my god! I wish I could remember what it is. Time for the peacock spider. Yeah, that's why I'm so excited. I, I really wanna really wanted to get to the peacock spider. I keep forgetting that V can fly now, which makes things super easy. Can I just... can I fly directly behind the waterfall, or is there... is there like a trick? Okay, no. I can just... I can go directly here. Cool. Is it called Underhero? I don't know, let's see. Underhero. Uh, no, this game is already out. This game is already out, and I'm pretty sure the game that I was sent is not actually out yet. Alright, so let's, let's go... Oh, you know what? I should save. That would be the smart thing to do here. Because... <laughs> because if I don't save and I get bodied by the spider, that's gonna cause problems. I don't think I saved as soon as I got here. I think I just... I don't remember saving, so I need to- I need to just double check that. There we go. Okay. Let's get back in there. Let's see how this goes. I mean, it can't- it can't be horrible, right? This- alright. This- <laughs> Oh, I need to, like, relax. I'm so antsy to, like, fight this spider. I've been waiting to fight this spider for, like, I don't know, five episodes now. I thought that you could fight this spider way back at a different part in the game, but lo and behold, you have to do it here. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh my god, it's too high. Come here. How am I gonna get up there? That can't be right. Oh, there we go. There we go. There's like one little section of the waterfall that's Midway in between. There we go. Let's get our way across. I'm sure you guys are happy that my game isn't lagging horrendously now that I have a new computer. I mean, when we did this fight in the base game, this fight was super easy. I'm curious to see how this fight translates, uh... Oh my god, he's so handsome. I'm curious to see how this translates, you know? Let's see here. Well, gotta, gotta put, gotta put V in front. And absolutely, I need to, I need to go ahead and spot out here. I think now we can probably enter, start doing the trading card stuff. That's probably worth doing. I might, I might just do a lot of it off camera, in all honesty. Maybe, maybe edit that off camera, I'm not sure. Let's see. Ah, uh, I mean, that's- it's a lot of health, but it's not like an insurmountable amount of health, you know? It's not a number where I'm like, oh, I can't- I can't take down that. Oh, never- never mind. Oh, absolutely never fucking mind. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, fuck. Um... How do I make his water go away? He's got water on his butt. Oh, shit. All of a sudden... All of a sudden, I'm not so confident about my abilities here. <clears throat> yeah, no. Um, well, as long as there's no... You know, as long as, as, long as there's no... <laughs> like, AoE moves, I should be fine, right? Spider doesn't have any AoE moves. 
No, that'd be that'd be ridiculous. There's no way. There's no way he has Let's see here. I'm gonna give him the honey leaf. It's maybe not the best use, but Okay, what are you gonna do? Easy peasy. Oh shit, he hurts a lot. If I have that shield off for even a moment, I'm not certain I can like win a fight successfully. Oh nice, he got poison though, which is pretty cool. Jesus. This is not looking good. This is looking what we call pretty fucking bad, my dudes. Okay. 70, that's a lot. That's actually quite a bit, so... I guess we'll... Hmm. Okay. Uh... No, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. I'm overthinking what I should be doing. There you go. Whew. Listen, the spider, he's threatening. He's threatening in a way where, like, he hits hard. He summons a boy. But, like, as long as I just use the shield, I'm, I'm good to go. I'm Gucci gold, you know? Nothing to worry about. Easy peasy. It's just, it's one man. It's one man to deal with. Okay, uh, let's see here. Hurricane toss. Holy shit, I can't hurricane toss. If I do that, that'll actually get me killed. Okay, um... I need to make sure that there's bubble shield on Kabu at all times. Because if there isn't... We, we have, we have problems. So... Oh no, I can't use any of my moves. That's a bummer. Items... I'm not falling for this trick. 15 TP to the party, that's pretty good. Six should be enough, actually. That should be just fine. Can't even hurt this man. Whew. Nothing to worry about. Right? No AoE moves. Why would I why would I be afraid? Why would I be afraid? No AoE moves. We're all good here. No. Do this. He's threatening because he can seduce you very easily. I don't know, I'd, I'd fuck a spider. Would you guys fuck a spider? Who here is into- who, who's into monster girls here in the chat? That's a question worthy of asking. Uh, a lot of my friends are super into the monster girl thing. And I totally get it, you know? But, you know, there's certain ones... It makes me wonder, like, you know, what's, what's even the difference between, like, a monster girl and a furry? They're basically the same thing, right? I'm sure monster girl enthusiasts everywhere upset that I would even insinuate such a ridiculous concept. I don't know, I mean, I watched Monster Masume when it premiered just like everybody else, and I, I thought it was a steaming pile of shit, so I don't, I don't know what to tell you. Maybe I'm not the best guy to... to ask. Um, let's see here. I am gonna go ahead... First of all, I'm gonna taunt. Second of all, I'm gonna use that Queen's Dinner. Nice. It's the TP that I care about. Kabu it up. And just do that. I'm curious if I can successfully kill the spider, if that will kill the other guy. I I don't know. It very well might. Let's see what I can do here. Um, oh, wait. Make sure I taunt first. If I had to take a- if I had to gander a goose, considering so many of my viewers are furries, I would probably guess that most of my viewers also want to have sex with monster girls. That's not, like, confirmed or anything. But I would- I would wholeheartedly believe it. Alright, this 100% will kill him. Yep. Even seven, just like I thought. Okay, so I do technically... 
Okay. This guy's not even a problem. He is barely a problem. Okay, taunt. I'm actually gonna scan him, just, just cuz. And here's what we're gonna do. Yeah, let me, let me scan him. If, if he's at like a low number, I'll just outright kill him, but... Oh yeah, he's gonna be super low. Oh yeah. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely, I can just kill him. One hit. That was the easiest secret boss. I thought there's only one furry in my chat. No. Absolutely not. You got a crystal feather. If I had to gander a goose, I'd say that at least half of my chat is furries. <laughs> furries furries love my content. I don't know why. I mention it basically every stream. I love I love them. I have so many furry friends. I myself I don't think I could be in a fursuit. I'm a sweaty man, all right? I That is no secret. That is, everyone knows. Tony is a sweaty fucking guy. I sweat a fuckload, all right? <laughs> I don't, I don't need to even imagine what it would be like to be in a fursuit. Because I'm sure even thinking about it, I would, I would sweat so much I would die. I couldn't even begin to, to consider. Metal Island, there better be some Iron Maiden. You know, it's funny that you use the word iron. I actually just found out uh, a buddy of mine, one of his acquaintances from work, has some sort of super rare blood disease, right? Where he, he just has too much iron in his blood, like to an absolutely insane degree. You got a secure pouch medal. A medal by Professor Honeycomb makes enemies unable to steal items and fleeing won't drop berries. I mean... It's not a very good metal, all things considered, because I have so many berries that fleeing doesn't matter. But, I mean, I guess not getting stolen from is cool. I don't really fight enemies that steal, though. Anyway, this guy has so much iron in his blood that the only way for them to fix it is to just drain his blood. Because it is actually, it is safer for him to have less blood in his body than to have as much iron in him as, as he does. And all I can think about is all those stupid people <laughs> who think that you can put magnets on your arm, like after you get the COVID vaccine. I wonder if you could actually put a magnet on him considering how much iron is in his blood. I, I, I don't know the exact amount, obviously, I'm not his doctor, but according to my friend, it's like an insane amount. Like he would, he would die if they did not bloodlet him as often as they do. Oh, let's also get the badge for, uh, for killing those bosses. I only like monster girls with their horrific abominations dreamt by the insane. Ah, I see, Capper, you're a man of absolute taste. You're one of those people who'd have sex with like a xenomorph or like a slug monster with 85 tits. <laughs> fun, fun fact, um, I am, like I mentioned, a lot of my friends are furries and one of my friends has an acquaintance who basically is the king of slug titties. If you've ever logged into Fur Affinity and you saw on the front page that there's like a slug furry with like 800 tits, uh, almost certainly I can tell you the exact man who commissioned them. Because it's it's just like one guy commissioning slugs with like 25 tits on them. He just, you know, he's like happily married. He's got kids, I'm sure. I'm sure he's got a great job, you know. he's He's a very normal man by all accounts, according to my friends. But he just loves commissioning pictures of snakes, or uh, of, of slugs, with just like, rows upon rows of titties, which <laughs> is just so funny for me to think about. Boosts an ally's defense, but reduces their attack by one. You can give that to Kabu, maybe. Oh, fuck yes. That's a good medal. That's an excellent medal. What a great way to end the stream. Uh, talking about 25 snake titties. <laughs> 25 slug tit- I keep saying snake, I mean slug titties. And also getting a TP badge. That's so valuable, dude. That's insane. I really need these badges. I'm a slut for these badges. So thank you guys for joining me. Hopefully I don't have an absolutely horrendous throat and I can stream for, for more next time. I hope you guys had a good time. I hope my voice wasn't too distracting or, or, or different this stream. Have a good rest of your night, lads. Thank you for joining me. Uh... I'll see you next time.